going to a property we just bought. It'll be my first time actually seeing it. Calling the engineers right now just to see where we're at with things as far as the approvals. It was a land play. So this piece, we bought it for 365 and there's an extra acre plus of land on it. So what we're doing, we'll show you in a second, is we're gonna partition the house off and then we're gonna develop out the land. Eric, just have to figure out exactly what we're gonna do. I have an idea. Hey Eric, Dirk calling. Hey, we're just pulling up to that property we bought over there um, in Preble and wanted to talk a little bit about where we're at in regards to getting both the lot partitioned off and when you think we can get that site plan application in for those mobiles. So give me a call back when you can. Hope you're doing well. Talk to you soon. Yeah, so we're, like I said, we bought that property, um, 365, existing house, and it has like 1.2 acres on it. So quite a bit of excess land that we'll be able to now partition the house off. We'll probably put a little lipstick on that bad boy. Maybe not. We might just sell it, partition it off, sell it. And then from there, we'll what I'm looking at doing is we're looking at putting some mobiles on there. What I love about those mobile homes is one, they're nice, they're new, to the speed, right? If you were to go and try to put townhomes or subdivisions, et cetera, an acre's not enough, and it would take us more than double the time. We'd have to put the infrastructure in, then we'd have to go submit for the permits, right? It's gonna take, each one of those is gonna take its own six month period. Here, you could be doing the infrastructure and then at the same time, put the mobiles in. So I just, I like that model. And I think depending on what area you're in, that's actually one of the ways to affordable living right now. And they're great units, they're, they're good living. And it's, it's, a, it's definitely a, an investment strategy that we're looking forward to seeing if we can bring to life. All right, so we bought the property, the what you see right here, for 365 down. This is my first time seeing it. I left myself a little bit of mail. What we're gonna do, so we're gonna turn this property, we're standing like this. We're gonna take that existing house that you see, so this is the existing house. We're gonna partition this lot off, and then we're talking to our mobile home guy. We're gonna bring in 11 mobile homes right here. So we'll, just to the, right of that house we'll put a road in we'll have to get rid of those existing buildings but that's the power when you find an existing piece of land or when you find an existing house that has additional land like there's over an acre on this it's got a ton of value that you could come and bring i mean 11 mobiles is what we're going to get out of as well so let's go take a look at the actual house and see if there's anything we need to do to it that's the next decision we got to make really is like do we actually need to do anything with it or not or walk with me all right so here it is we got this carport here like i told you guys this is my first time seeing it so we'll figure out what exactly we're going to do i i think we'll probably simplify this and just try to do a speed flip that's really what i'm looking at but you got a carport here nice little porch and uh it's kind of exciting you guys get to it's exciting for me it's like kind of giving yourself a gift i don't know exactly what's going to be in here what it's going to look like i don't even know which key we have to use let's see That's one. You guys ready for this? What if it is just filled with trash? Let's see. And we're good to go, baby. Here we are. First time seeing it, pretty dang cute. Like, looks great. Nice living room. I don't know what you guys think. Nice kitchen. Garage door, boom. I don't know, man. Right, what do you think? We could probably just do a little paint on this bad boy and nice bathroom. That looks good. Good full size laundry room right here. Oh dude, maybe new floor maybe new floors, maybe some paint. Bedroom one, this must be the master. Good light. Good light, good light. And then this must be bedroom too. Looks like they must have been running. It's always crazy to see like this. This was a converted, obviously, this was a converted laundry room. You can see right here because this was where they used to have the dryer and this was the dryer vent. So there used to be laundry right here and they must have converted it or something. So yeah, I know it is an older house, but good bones, good layout. And 
I think what we'll do on this one, honestly, just to speed things up, since it's just a land play, I think we'll be able to just touch this up, make it look nice, make it look clean, make it look like our style, the momentized style, and then we'll flip the house and focus in on the land. So let's talk about what actually makes this a good deal. Since we're gonna touch these walls up a little bit, let's just run the numbers of this entire deal on this wall. So we know that our total cost in, right, was 380,000. So 380K based on that statement we just had is what our total cost in is gonna be. Like we talked about, we're gonna be able to partition this house off and depending on what we do, I think I'm gonna say that it's gonna cost us another 10K to do the remodel, right? We're not gonna go crazy, this is lipstick on the pig. So we're gonna do 10K for the remodel, right? So that's gonna put us at 390. And then it's gonna cost us, let's call it, it's gonna cost us another 10K to do the approvals, the partition, the surveying, the holding costs. So let's just say we're gonna be all into this project with just the house. Before we do any land use approval, before we buy any of these mobile homes, before we do any infrastructure, we're gonna be in 400,000. What I think we'll be able to do on this house is I think we're gonna sell it somewhere between that like 325 to 300, let's just keep it conservative and we'll go on the low side. So I think we're gonna sell the house, this house once it's partitioned off, for 300,000. So our total project cost right now is 400K, right? We're gonna sell it for 300,000. There's some sale commission in there. So let's say we net out on that 275. So now our land basis, so we're gonna say after closing costs, we have to pay our realtors. We're gonna get 270, 275 back. Well, now our basis into the land, right? How much money we actually have into the land, how much we owe on the land still is $125,000. So after we sell this house off, we just got all this excess land that you see right here, right? All this land that we're gonna put all these mobile homes on, we got that for a land cost of 125. There's where a huge part of this value comes from, right? Huge part of the value comes from creating that lot. I think that lot's worth north of 250, right, for what we're gonna put on it. But that gives you the quick, simple, back of the napkin math on what our land basis is gonna be now, right? So we're gonna have a separate owner for this. We'll decide, like, maybe we won't sell it and we'll put permanent debt on. We'll see, we'll figure out where it lands. But I think we're gonna move to this direction of selling it. So we've got our land base of 125. So now let's actually figure out how do we value these mobile homes, right? How do we actually get numbers to value the mobile homes? Everything in commercial trades off what's called a cap rate, right? It's essentially what the market is demanding at that time in that area. And the cap rate always goes off of, so think about cap rate, that's something that you need to learn, is the cap rate. And then the cap rate always gets divided by the net operating income, or if you hear the acronym NOI, that's where you'll land. And NOI, it's simple, it's your all your rents minus all your expenses equals your NOI. Right? So think about it. all your rents minus all your expenses, that gives you your net operating income. And then you'll take your NOI and you'll divide that by the current cap rate. So we've already done these numbers back of the napkin. Our NOI, after we do all these mobile homes, we're gonna land at about 155,000 a year. The cap rates, capitalization rates, what things trade for in this area are at 7%. So the way that you figure out the value of this property, the value of this project, is you're gonna divide 155 by 7% and that'll give you the answer. Let's do it. Uh, I'm not that good at math. I, I like to keep it simple. But what we're gonna do, like we talked about, we're gonna take 155, 155,000 NOI divided by 7%, right? That gives us a $2.2 million value. So we're gonna have a $2.2 million value for building this mobile home off of a $380,000 loan, right? We're gonna do a little bit of renovation. 400K is what we're gonna be into it. We're gonna sell the house and then boom, our only basis is 125. So we're gonna turn a cost basis of 125 into $2.2 million. All right, so now we've seen the property. You actually got to see it for the first time with me. We did the numbers. Now we're gonna get the team in. We're gonna do the renovation. We're gonna actually get this lot partitioned off and then you're gonna be able to watch us step by step bring the project to life. And we'll see, like, are those numbers accurate? Are they not? You'll get to watch it come to life. You'll get to see us take this piece of land, which right now is seemingly nothing, 
and turn it into this bad boy, which will be a great, great addition.